In Pictomania, three to six players are given prompts to draw and guess. Check Games Edition provided this copy in exchange for an honest review. Every player chooses a color, then takes the matching pencil, guessing cards, and scoring tokens depending on player count. Everyone also gets a sheet, folded along the middle to make a four-page booklet. Depending on player count, a number of black scoring tokens go in the middle where everyone can reach them. Shuffle the green word cards, then place three on the stand. Shuffle the black number and letter cards separately, not together, and deal one of each to everyone. Secretly look at your number and letter card, then find that word. For example, C1 is dragon. Once everyone is ready, you'll all simultaneously draw your subjects. Let me show you the other card colors. This game has four rounds. In them, you'll use green, yellow, orange, then red cards. As you can see, they get really difficult. Don't worry, later on, I'll talk about ways to make the game accessible for everyone. Back to the game. Your sheets need the gray line at the bottom so that other players will understand how they should be looking at it. Once you've finished drawing, spin it around for everyone to see. Now you can start guessing other people's drawings. Because nobody else will have that same number as you, don't give that guessing card out. Instead, put one of the others face down on their number and letter cards. Once you've finished guessing, grab one of the black scoring tokens from the middle. After everyone's finished, reveal your number and letter cards as well as everyone's guesses. Keep these in the order they were given to you. The first correct guess gets your most valuable scoring token, and so on. For an incorrect guess, put that scoring card in the middle. After you've all handed out your scoring tokens, check the middle. The player with the most incorrect guesses is the black sheep. Their black scoring token counts as a negative. In case of a tie, black scoring tokens count as positive like normal. Anyhow, add up earned scoring tokens and add or subtract the black scoring token depending. Finally, any of your scoring tokens you didn't hand out because your drawing wasn't guessed also count as negative points. Write your score for the round in the star on your sheet, then move on to the next round. The winner is the player with the most points at the end of four rounds. Draw quickly, but in a way that people can guess what it is. Guess their drawings and score the most points. That's Pictomania. Pictomania's four rounds last around five to seven minutes each, so games can be played in 30 minutes, give or take. You need a hard surface for each player to draw on, plus a space close to the size of a placemat. If you can play cards at your table, you're good. You have to be a good enough artist for people to understand your drawing, but quick enough so that you can start guessing immediately. There's also the high difficulty of the orange and red cards. Can you draw things like conscience and totalitarian dystopia? Thankfully, difficulty is adjustable. Playing with a six-year-old? Use four rounds of green cards. Playing with four genius adults? Try four rounds of red cards. The first time we played Pictomania, my dad had to draw the Harry Potter spell Crucio, which I got easily. The two of them guessed my Everglades correctly. Mom's drawing was interesting. Two stick figures, two dotted lines coming from one's feet and head, with another dotted line coming from the other's knees. It was apparently head someone off, which gave us all a good laugh. I mentioned this in Family Facts, but I love how flexible Pictomania's difficulty is. This makes it possible to play with pretty much anyone. Another great thing is that cards are double-sided, adding tons of replayability. Imagine if they started adding expansions. The box includes game sheets, pencils, and a pencil sharpener. They didn't need to add the pencil sharpener, but it's still a nice touch. I like that this game's scoring system gives points for people guessing your drawings and for you guessing theirs. Even bad artists can do well if they can draw quick enough to start successfully guessing, then grab the most valuable black scoring token. Pictomania is very similar to Poetry Slam, 
which was my 2018 winner for Best Game for Large Groups. This is the second edition of Pictomania, and the first apparently came out in 2011. Huh. The idea behind this game is super simple, but it's a challenge to draw quickly but clearly, then guess other people's drawings. As you can imagine, this is a quick, silly way to spend time with family and friends. Considering this is the same designer behind the brilliant codenames, I'm not surprised. If you already own Cartooner, I'm not sure you need this. If you don't own it, I'll link to my review for it at the end. That way, you can decide which one of these hilarious art games is best for you and your family.